Yeah, Scott, you know, this certainly couldn't have come at a worse day than today. You know, it's the day before Thanksgiving and the Buffalo Niagara Airport is already seeing a lot of its holiday travelers. Right now, like you said before, we're standing in the parking lot at the Buffalo Niagara Airport. I'm going to step out of the way here so you can get a clear picture of what we're seeing here. We spoke to our NFTA spokesperson, Kelly Katib, and, you know, she tells us right now that the NFTA police, um, transit police, are doing clean sweeps on those travelers that are dropping off travelers and for those travelers that are just coming into the airport you know this will be happening until further notice right now they're using explosive detection dogs to really sweep these cars thoroughly for any explosive material that anybody may or may not have uh, you know right now you can tell here for yourself what our killer Katib has to say Hey, Keelan, uh, if we can keep you for a moment, can you have your photographer uh, pan out a little bit so we can see the extent of the delay there that's at the airport, if we still have you? Of course. Of course, Brad, if you can just continue to just show the scene, as you can see, it's literally backed up car after car after car. Brad, Photog, Brad and I literally was sitting in this line for about 20 minutes before we was able to come to this spot right now. You know, Khatib is also encouraging those travelers that have to catch a flight to come at least about three to three and a half hours before your departure time. But as we learn more about the, the scene here and more about these clean sweeps, again, that will be happening until further notice, we Kaelin? will update you along the way. But reporting out from Buffalo, Niagara um, Airport, Keelan Berry and Channel 2 News. Hey, Keelan, great job. Let me ask you, if you can ask Brad to pan out a little bit wider and give us more of a perspective so we can see exactly how much it is backed up there at the airport. Have them go wide and go to the left or to the right as the people are entering. We just want to get an idea as to how backed up it is there. If you can go to the right a little bit, pan out. So right, can... Brad, if you can just follow, follow me around here, just so more there of our go. viewers can just really see the extent of how backed up it really is. If you can just continue to just pan on, literally, it just goes all the way into the entrance of the airport. You, uh, once again, you can see those cars backed up, car for car. NFTA police, transit police, checking and doing a clean sweep for any explosive material within any car that is coming this way. Once again, it is strongly encouraged for you to come three to three and a half hours before your departure time. You're still looking at those different cars. Everyone's standing still. Some of these folks are going to be in here for a very long time. Once again, Brad and I, we went through this process, was in the line. We still caught it kind of early, was in this line for about 20 minutes before we had to just hop out of the car and run to the spot that we are in now. But again, still seeing those line of cars, both lanes really just full. These are multiple lane road, just full on both sides, car after car after car. Once again, Kelly Katib, NFTA representative spokesperson is encouraging all travelers to really come three to three and a half hours before. As you can see, Buffalo police, NFTA police along the way, still directing that traffic for people to come through to get sweet um, and searched by those explosive do um, searching dogs. Uh, again, as we continue on to learn a little bit more, we can just tell you guys and update you guys along the way. Keelan, one more quick question. It looks Scott, like we're going to send it right back to you guys inside the studio. Keelan, it looks like some of those cars are moving pretty well right now. Are they checking every single car as they go into the airport? Are they letting some through? Well, based off of what our NFTA spokesperson, Kelly Katib, says, cars that's dropping travelers off and for cars that are coming into the airport are both getting sweep yes as you've seen here we cannot confirm if every car if is not going to be um sweep um thoroughly but as right now as we are looking some of those cars that are just dropping off some of those travelers they are just going and moving along the way once again, if Brad, you can just continue to still continue to pan all the way and see the extent of how backed up this mm. parking lot really is here at the Buffalo Niagara Airport. Does it go all the way back to Genesee, Keelan? All the way to the entrance of the airport, wow. Scott. You know, it's very far back there. Once again, Brad and I spent about, we came here early and we still had to wait at least 20 minutes. Cars here are gonna be waiting to at least an hour 
hour here. But we cannot confirm that with you guys right now. Well, but what once I again, just to really answer your question again, the Kelly... Kelly Katib, spokesperson with NFTA, you know, she is saying that cars that are dropping off those travelers and for cars that are going to be going inside the Buffalo Niagara Airport, they will be fully sweeped by an explosive searching dog. And you're right about that, Keelan. Thank you so much for that report out there. If we can just continue to show those cars, if not, but he's right. He waited 20 minutes. I think when I got to the airport, you timed it right, yeah. Because I had no delay at that point, but I could start to see cars coming and uh, the backup was starting and that backup is continuing as a result 